ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಚರಿತಂ ರಘುನಾಥ ಶತಕೋಟಿ ಪ್ರವಿಸ್ತರ ಏಕೈಕಮಕ್ಷರ ಪುಂಸಾಂ ಮಹಾಪಾತಕ ನಾಶನ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೆಷನ್ ಆನ್ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚರಿತ ಮಾನಸ ಬೈ ಸೈಂಟ್ ತುಳಸೀದಾಸ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಸೈಂಟ್ ತುಳಸೀದಾಸ ಸಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರಿ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಾಯಣ ಆಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ರಾಮ and here in this part he went on to say that already many sages have sung the glory of shri hari in the past and hence it will be easy for him to follow their very path while telling the story in this rama charita manasa because if kings get bridges constructed over big rivers because they are like the great bridges over big rivers stories that are written in the past and they are broad enough that even a tiniest ant can cross over without exertion reassuring the mind in this way i shall narrate the charming story of the lord of raghus vyasa and various other top ranking poets who have reverently recounted blessed glory of shri hari i bow to the lotus feet of them all let them fulfill all my desires i make obeisance to the poets of the kali age who have sung the multitudinous virtues of lord of raghus even those poets of supreme wisdom who belong to the prakrita a prakrita or popular class as opposed to the samskrita or the cultured class who have narrated the exploits of shri hari in the spoken language including those who have flourished in the past those who are, who are still living and those who are yet to come in order to sing the praise of in the praise of lord rama i reverence to all of them one and all renouncing all false appearance be propitious and grant this boon my song may be honored in the assemblage of pious souls composition which the wise refuse to honor is fruitless labor which only silly poets do undertake of glory poetry and affluence that alone is blessed which like the celestial river ganga is conducive to the good of all the glory of shri rama is charming indeed while my speech is rough this is something incongruous i am afraid by your grace even this incongruity will turn out well for me embroidery of silk looks charming even on coyer's clothes the wise admire only that poetry which is lucid and portrays a spotless character and which even opponents hear with applause forgetting natural animosity such poetry is not possible without a refined intellect and of intellectual power i have a very little of it be gracious therefore so that i may depict the glory of shri hari i solicit again and again poets and wise men lovely swans sporting in the manasa sarovara lake of shri rama's exploits hearing my childlike prayer and recognizing my refined taste be kindly disposed towards me i bow to the lotus feet of the sage valmiki who composed the ramayana which though containing an account of the demon kara the cousin of ravana Tara basically means very rough, but yet Ramayana is very soft and charming and though faultless is yet full of references to Dushana. 
Bhushana is another cousin of Daman king Ravana and Doshana basically means the faults whereas Ramayana continues to remain faultless. I reverence to all the four Vedas, barks as it were on the ocean of mundane existence whichever which never dream of weariness in singing the untarnished glory of Sri Rama, the chief of Raghus. I greet the dust on the feet of Brahma, the creator, who has evolved the ocean of worldly existence, the birthplace of nectar, the moon and the cow of plenty in the forum of saints on the one hand, and of poison and wine in the form of the wicket on the other, making obeisance to the feet of gods, the brahmanas, wise men, and the deities presiding over the nine planets. I pray to them with joy and palms, be pleased to accomplish all my fair desires. Again, I bow to Goddess Saraswati and the celestial river Ganga, both of whom are holy and perform agreeable roles. The one Ganga wipes away sin through immersion and brought. The other Saraswati dispels ignorance through the recital and hearing of her glory. I adore the great Lord Shiva and his consort, the goddess Bhavani, that is Parvati, my preceptors and parents, friends of the forlorn and ever given to charity, servants, masters and friends of the Sita's Lord, the true benefactors of Tulasi Dasa in every way. Seeing the prevalence of the Kali age, Hara and Girija or Shiva and Parvati evolved a string of spells in the tongue of savages, incoherent syllables which yield no interpretation and require no repetition, but whose efficacy is patent revealing Shiva's glory. These are called as Shabara Mantras, where the syllables may not mean anything but it has a lot of glory associated with that. That Lord of Uma, that is Parvati, favorable as he is to me, shall make this story of mine a source of blessings and joy. Thus invoking Lord Shiva and his consort, Shiva means Parvati. Here Shiva basically means to the Lord and his consort Shiva is basically referring to the Parvati. And obtaining their favor, I relate the exploits of Sri Rama with a heart full of ardor. By Shiva's grace, my composition will shed its luster even as the night shines in conjunction with the moon and the stars. Those who will fondly and intelligently recite or hear this story with attention will develop devotion to the feet of Sri Rama and purged of the impurities of Kali will obtain choice blessings. If Hara and Gauri, that is Lord Shiva and Parvati, are really propitious to me, even in dream, let all that I have said in glorification of this poetry of mine, written in popular dialect, let all that come out true. Thus, in this part of the story, Saint Tulsi Dasa explains about the, all those people who told the story of Lord Rama in the past and has a strong belief that all their blessings will make this sound sweet to all those who listen to this story of Sri Ramacharita Manasa. Namaste Sharada Devi, Kashmira Puravasini, Tvamaham Prarthaye Nityam, Vidyadanancha Dehime. Goodbye. Shri Ramachandra Krupal Bhajamana 
ಭರಣಭಯದಾರುಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಕೃಪಾಲ ಭಜಮನ ಹರಣಭಯದಾರುಣ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ